Did I have your attention yet? Hope so. So what I need to go over is the commutative property of addition. And this is huge because it's so overlooked um, and it's so basic, but it's also so important. So the commutative property of addition purely states that A plus B is equal to B plus A. And you might say, all right, that kind of makes some sense, but let's take a look at some actual real numbers rather than some arbitrary variables. So what if I said 3 plus 4 equals 4 plus 3? You might say, OK, think about my addition when I first learned it. Da, da, da. OK, yeah, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure I can remember that one. Well, I'm glad these numbers are going to make sense. Um, this is extremely important, though, especially for what we're about to be going over. And because a lot of times we're going to have to rearrange variables, and we're going to be rearranging expressions. And it's very important that you understand that Either way, we represent you know, an, expression, um, you know, an expression that they're still going to be equal. And we might want to rep we might change it around so maybe it makes more sense to us, or also that um, you know, we might be able to combine like terms a little bit easier. So it's really important not only that you can say, oh, well, with, e with integers, it makes sense, but with also with other uh, monomials, which we'll talk about later. So anyways, let's just look at real quick why this makes sense. And to do that, I'm going to use a number line. And so for this number line, I'm just going to uh, use my positive numbers. So I have from 0, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So when adding numbers by using a number line, simply all I'm going to do is I'm going to represent the distance of for each number. So 3 would be this distance here. And then if I'm going to add the distance 3 plus a distance now 4, I'm going to now add four d units from three. So it would be one, two, three, four. And you can see, so I have three plus four. You can see from here, I end up getting seven, which we knew was the answer. Now, if I want to do four plus three, I'll do that on the bottom. I'll go four units. And then now I'm going to add an extra three more units, which from here would be one, two, three. And you can see that, again, I'm also going to end at 7. So that's why the commutative property of addition works. But it's very important for you to understand you know, that it also works this arbitrarily because we're going to be constantly using this for the rest. But there's a quick little introduction of the commutative property of addition.